Hi everyone. In this session, we are going to look at the topics Kohlberg's theory, Gilligan's theory, consensus and controversy, professions and professionalism that is models of professional roles which is coming under unit 2 engineering ethics. First one is Kohlberg's theory. He developed three stages of moral development. Those stages are pre-conventional level, conventional level and post-conventional level. So what is he saying in pre-conventional level? Whatever benefits oneself or avoids punishment. This is the level of development of all young children to avoid punishment and gain reward. What is conventional level? Uncritical acceptance of one's family, group or society are accepted as the final standard of morality. So most adults do not mature beyond this stage one. So this conventional level gains approval and avoids disapproval and mainly duty and guilt. What is there in post conventional level? He suggested motivation to do what is morally reasonable for its own sake rather than solely from ulterior motives with also a desire to maintain their moral integrity, self-respect and the respect of other autonomous individuals. They are morally autonomous people agreed upon rights, personal model, moral standards. So these are the three levels Kohlberg suggested. Yeah. Next comes Gilligan's theory. She also proposed pre-conventional level, conventional level and post-conventional level as we had in Kohlberg's theory. And in pre-conventional level, it is the same as Kohlberg's first level in which a person is preoccupied with self-centered reasoning, caring for the needs and desires of self. In conventional level, she says, here the thinking is opposite in that. One is preoccupied with not hurting others and a willingness to sacrifice one's own interests in order to help or nurture others or retain the friendship. In post-conventional level, it, it, that can be achieved through context-oriented reasoning rather than by applying abstract rules ranked in a hierarchy of importance. Here, the individual becomes able to strike a recent balance between caring about other people and pursuing one's own self-interest while exercising one's rights. Hope you understood. Next one is Heinz Dilema. This is actually a situation. So, a woman living in Europe would die of cancer unless she was given an expensive drug. Her husband, Haynes, could not afford it. But the local pharmacist who had invented the drug at only one-tenth of the sale price refused to sell it to Haynes, who could only raise half the required money from borrowings. So, desperation drives Haynes to break into the pharmacy and steal the drug to save his wife. So that was his priority. He wants to save his wife. When the respondents were asked whether and why Haynes should or should not steal a drug to save his wife from a life-threatening illness, the responses of the individuals were compared with the prototypical response of individuals at particular stages of moral reasoning. Kohlberg noted that irrespective of the level of the individual, the response could be the same, but the reasoning could be different. So this is Haynes' dilemma. What is consensus? Consensus means agreement. So uh, this is also an analogy. 
the conductor of a music orchestra has authority over the musicians and his authority is respected by them by consensus or otherwise the music performance will suffer because they have agreed to work with him so they are uh, following what the conductor uh, conductor is saying hence the authority and autonomy are compatible in this case okay on the other hand tension arises between the needs for autonomy and the need for consensus about authority the difference between the two should be discussed openly to resolve the issue to the common good so tension arises between the needs for autonomy and the need for consensus about autonomy so that is the difference. what is controversy controversy is disagreement of certain things all individuals will not arrive at the same verdict during their exercising their moral autonomy aristotle noted long ago that morality is not as precise and clear cut as arithmetic it is not mathematics right aim of teaching engineering ethics is not to get unanimous conformity of outlook by indoctrination authoritarian and dogmatic teaching hypnotism or any other technique but to improve the promotion of tolerance in the exercise of moral autonomy so uh, this is very very important what is a profession so a job or occupation that meets the following criteria from which a person earns his living is occupation this we already know right knowledge exercise of skills knowledge judgment and discretion requiring extensive formal criteria so this is knowledge what is organization special bodies by members of the profession to set standard codes of ethics then next one is public good the occupation serves most important public good indicated by a code of ethics so this is what is called as profession well, who is a professional engineer who has a bachelor degree in engineering from an accredited school school here is meant to say college okay performs engineering work is a registered and licensed professional engineer acts in a morally responsible way while practicing engineering so this is a very important point he should uh, as engineer we should act in a morally responsible way while practicing engineering next comes models of professional engineers savior the representative engineer is a savior who will redeem society from poverty inefficiency waste and drudgery of manual labor these are various professional roles okay guardian engineers know the directions in which and pace at which the technology should develop so he has to be a savior he has to be a guardian the next one bureaucratic servant the engineer as the loyal organization person uses special skills to solve problems so the next role of an engineer is social servant engineers in cooperation with management have the task of receiving society's directives and satisfying society's desires so the next role of an engineer is social enabler and catalyst engineers play a vital role beyond mere compliance with orders they help management and society understand their own needs and to make informed decisions okay so the last role is game player engineers are neither servants nor masters of anyone they play by the economic game rules that happen to be in a effect at a given time 